what is Ohio State's lineup going to look like in next dual meet season? Now, Ohio State, obviously, they lost a couple of their guys. And I'm going to go through each of these lineups over the upcoming weeks and just discuss where I think certain guys will fall. Now, I took into account uh, redshirt freshmen as well as incoming freshmen and the current lineup. So I'm taking into account everything here and diving deep into who I personally think will make the lineup. And please let me know uh, if you think somebody else will make the lineup that I just left out or that I think is going to get nudged out because uh, there's going to be some debate here. So let's think about this. So Ohio State is graduating. Joey McKenna, Micah Jordan, uh, Tayshawn Campbell, and Miles Martin. Those are all big losses, all all Americans. And, you know, a couple of those guys in the national finals, uh, uh, or I said one, one guy in the national finals in McKenna. But these guys are all, uh, they were phenomenal wrestlers. And it's going to be upsetting that the Buckeyes have to say goodbye to them this year. But, they have two returning NCAA placers in their lineup in Pletcher and Colin Moore. And then they actually have three. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. So let's get to this lineup. So going into 125 pounds, I'm just going to go right through this. Now, Ohio State, talking about recruiting classes a little bit, they have three out of the top 10 recruits in the class of 2019. Three out of the top 10, more than any other school in the top 10. So Ohio State's going to have a team to reckon with in the upcoming years if these guys, you know, if they do well at the national tournament. Uh, and they actually have five out of the top 100, which is, you know, pretty good considering that every program is going to get a couple of these guys out of the top 100. So at 125 pounds, of course, we have Malik Heinzelman, who is returning as a sophomore. Uh, he wrestled last season. He was 23 and nine and he made it to nationals, but did not play. So Ohio State actually had 10 out of 10 guys make it to the national tournament, which is a great feat. Now, also coming in as a true freshman, we have Jordan Cater coming in as a true freshman. And he is somebody who uh, is a top-ranked recruit and I think can do very well at Ohio State. Now, we've seen true freshmen. Some of them start Some of them start midway through the season. Some of them just redshirt the first season uh, incoming as a freshman to get ready for the years to come. Now, I actually happen to think this is a case where Decatur is going to come out halfway through the season and he's going to take Malik Heinzelman's spot. So I'm going to say there's a little switch here. It's going to be Malik, then Decatur uh, at 125 pounds later in the season, depending on the wrestle off too, of course, uh, at 133 pounds. We have a couple guys here. Last year, we had Luke Pletcher, who wrestled 133 pounds and did very well, made it to the national semifinals, and he actually lost to Dayton Fix. He made it to the Big Ten finals, lost to Nick Suriano, but he is a guy who's always, in my mind, he's always consistent. So will he make the lineup again? Absolutely. I mean, he's going to be a senior this year. He's going to return and make 133 pounds. Now, who's behind him? You also have Decatur, who could, you know, be a 33 pounder, could be a 25 pounder. He said, I believe, that he wants to be a 25 pounder, but, you know, those type of things can change depending on whether he bulks, whether, you know, whether he gains any weight, whatever it is. But I think Pletcher's got the spot here at 33. At 141 pounds, we have a few guys that there's a possibility are wrestling because, of course, we, uh, Ohio State lost Joey McKenna this last year. So that was, you know, an, an upsetting loss. So who are three guys? Well, one I'm going to throw out here is Keyshawn Hayes. So Hayes actually wrestled 157 pounds this past year. And that's actually a few pounds up from what he's wrestled in the past. He wrestled 141 pounds two years ago and then 149 pounds uh, the year after that. And then last year he wrestled 157 pounds. So also we have Quinn Kinner, uh, who's a redshirt freshman. And then we have Alex Felix, who is a another redshirt freshman. So these guys are coming in and any one of them I think can make the weight. Now I happen to not think that Hayes is going to drop down that low. Uh, he may be a little bit big for 57 or a little bit small for 57, but I don't think he's going to be able to drop all the way to 41. Just my opinion. Uh, because, you know, he although he wrestled well last year, he placed at Big Tens, didn't place at Nationals, but still qualified. Uh, I just don't think he, he'll be able to drop. But Kinner, on the other hand, he's a two-time state champ from New Jersey. 
He's a beast of the East champ, and he was the number 15 recruit in his recruiting class. And I think that he's going to be able to beat out Felix, who is like the 98th recruit. Still a top 100 guy, but I think Kenner's just going to pull out here and take the 141 spot. At a 149, we have a guy coming in called Sammy Sasso. And I don't think there's any competition at this weight now that Micah Jordan's gone. I think Sasso from Nazareth, Pennsylvania is going to come in and really make some waves as a redshirt freshman. I think at, he's a two-time state champ. Uh, Going at 149 pounds, two-time state champ. He is a Ironman, Super 32, Flow Natty champ. He has won all these huge tournaments and going to be somebody to reckon with at 149 pounds now that a couple of these guys have left in the, at the national level. At 157 pounds, we have Keyshawn Hayes, who is a senior this year. That's where he wrestled last year at 157. And we also have Jaden Maddox, who's a redshirt freshman. And I believe there's been some like drama with him where some people weren't sure if he was on the team. Some people weren't sure. Some people were sure. I believe he's on the team, from my understanding. And he will be going up against Hayes for that 57-pound spot. Now, you know, Hayes, as I said, Big Ten placer, didn't place at Nationals, 21-11 and 11 on the season last year. He had a good season, and uh, I think he's going to wrestle again well this upcoming year. Now, even though Maddox, he's a number 24 recruit, he's a two-time state champ from Ohio, so, you know, he's no scrub. Uh, and he's a two-time Flow National Champion. He, he was 13-2 and two in his redshirt season, so he wrestled uh, pretty well. But I think Hayes is going to pull out get the spot here at 157. You never know, though. At 165, we have a pretty loaded weight class again. But it's full of uh, a couple redshirt freshmen, true freshmen, as well as a uh, returner. And Caleb Romano, uh, or Romero, I'm sorry, Caleb Romero. So uh, Romero is a red. Shirt, he'll be a redshirt sophomore. He started last season and then ended up uh, getting beat out by Tayshawn Campbell. And now that Tayshawn's gone, he, you know, the spot is his to lose. Essentially, last year he was 11 and six before he lost uh, lost a spot. Now these other guys uh, in Carson Karchala. Uh, Karchula, I believe is how you pronounce it. Carson Karchula, true freshman. He's a number 10 recruit, number one at 170 pounds in the country. And he was actually a state champ from Liberty High School. So he's going to be a guy who's going to be, uh, you know, he's aiming for that spot. But he also got Kayvon Freeman, redshirt freshman, number 78 recruit in his recruiting class and is a three-time Ohio State champion. So, of course, Ohio State's going to pull in their Ohio State champions for recruiting. And this is a guy who is well known in Ohio and is looking for that spot. But who do I think is going to pull out the victory? Right now, I have Caleb Romero pulling out that victory uh, to take the spot at 165 pounds. Moving on up to 174 pounds, we have Ethan Smith and Rocky Jordan. Rocky Jordan now is the brother of Bo and Micah Jordan. Also, who wrestled for Ohio State. And then we have Ethan Smith, uh, who is a redshirt sophomore. Rocky Jordan, of course, uh, a redshirt freshman. So, Smith uh, made it to Nationals last year. Last year. Uh, he didn't place, but he made it. He was 20-13 and 13 on the season, 6th in the Big Ten tournament. Rocky Jordan now is the number five, 35 recruit. In his recruiting class, uh, he was a three-time state champ from Ohio. Another three-time state champ, 174 and eight, pretty solid high school record right there. Now I th happen to think that Smith will pull this out. Uh, you know, you see these freshmen coming in. To be honest, you have to be really, really good to get that spot as a freshman, red shirt freshman, true freshman, whatever it is. You need some time to get some of that college experience, college matches under your belt. And that's why I happen to think that Ethan Smith's going to take this spot at 174 pounds. Please tell me if I'm wrong. And if you think any differently, I'd love to hear why. Please let me know in the comments below. But at 184 pounds, it's another weight where just like 149, I don't think there's much competition. That's why I think Gavin Hoffman, who's a redshirt freshman, is going to take this weight formerly from Miles Martin, who wrestled at 184 pounds. Now, Hoffman was the number 10 recruit. He's a three-time state champion from uh, Montoursville High School, which is in Pennsylvania. 
And he's a guy who was 22 and 3 last year in his redshirt season. I think he's going to do very well at 184 pounds, filling some uh, some nice shoes for Miles Martin. You know, it's it's tough to make up for Miles Martin. He was a national finalist three two times, a national champion. Uh, last year he lost you know, a big match to Max Dean, unfortunately, for Ohio State fans. But, you know, now you got a guy in Gavin Hoffman, even though he's coming from PA, you got that a, a good recruit there to keep your team going. But at 197 pounds, you have another returner in Colin Moore. Now, Colin Moore, uh, I actually thought he was a senior last year. It turns out he's not. He's a senior this year. And Colin Moore, uh, of course, he was a national finalist. Last year, he had three losses only. He was 23-3. and three, And all three of those losses came to the same guy in Bo Nickel. So, Bo Nickel's gone now. Bo Nickel will not be returning this year to college wrestling. So, Colin Moore, I believe, has finally has a chance to win a national title for Ohio State. You know, we're going to have a couple other guys who are going to give him some competition, but it's, it's Colin Moore's year, I think, to finally win that national title. And under him, actually, coming up, I don't think this year at all, but next year uh, will be Kevin Snyder. Kevin Snyder, you guys may know as the brother of Kyle Snyder, who is pretty much the Superman of wrestling, uh, national champ, uh, Olympic champ, world champ. He is phenomenal. Kevin Snyder is the his brother, and you know he's under more right now, but I think he he'll come out in his uh, redshirt senior year and actually do really well for the team. But right now, call him more. And at 285 pounds, we have two very good guys. We have Chase Singletary, who is 21 and nine. He made it to nationals, didn't place. And then we have another guy by the name of Greg Kirkfleet. Now, Greg Kirkfleet is the number one recruit in the class of 2019. So that is a great feat in itself. Number one recruit coming in as a true freshman. Uh, because of his true freshman, now, now let me give you a couple stats. He is from Simley High School in Minnesota. He's a state champ, uh, and he actually wrestled Gable Stevenson uh, two years ago. In a high school match, he actually lost that match in 2018, but that was the biggest high school match of that entire year. So Kirkfleet and Singletary uh, at 285, I actually happen to think that Kirkfleet is going to stay as a redshirt this year, get some matches under his belt, get a year of separation between another year of separation between him and Stevenson, and then that way he has a chance to win uh, a couple national titles. And I'm not saying he can't beat Stevenson. I'm not saying that at all, uh, not by any means. However, I think giving that year of separation gives him a chance to win another one. And then, of course, you have a couple other guys who may be coming up uh, in that high school right now. But I think Singletary is going to take that at 285 pounds. And so that is your Ohio State lineup. Luke, or, uh, at 125, you have Malik and Decatur. I think they're going to switch off a little bit. Pletcher at 133. Quinn Kinner at 141. Sammy Sasso as a freshman at 149. Keyshawn Hayes at 57. Romero at 165. 174, I think we're going to have Ethan Smith and Gavin Hoffman at 184 pounds. Colin Moore at 197. And Chase Singletary at 285 pounds. Please let me know what you think because this is going to be a solid year for Ohio State.